There's a history to the jack-o'-lantern. If you want to see something truly terrifying, Google images that show faces cut into root vegetables like turnips. Or don't. It is literally the stuff of my nightmares. These carved veggies are often associated with October and Halloween. Pumpkins are kind of hard to cut through, so we didn't do a lot of pumpkin carving when I was growing up. But this tradition of carving veggies, now pumpkins, came to the United States with Irish and Scottish immigrants. Growing up, I was told that the jack-o'-lantern was carved to ward off evil spirits that wandered the earth on Halloween night. And I guess there's something about that lit face that keeps the spirits of the dead away too. I know they've become a staple of Halloween decor. As a kid, I used to carry around a plastic bucket that was shaped like a jack-o'-lantern for candy at our October festivals. We did have a ceramic jack-o'-lantern with a little light bulb at our house. As an adult though, I've shifted more toward painted pumpkins on the porch instead. When I thought about my little pumpkin, I just wanted it to look happy. I wanted a silly, simple, happy face. And I think I accomplished that with a single toothy grin.